Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. Guess what? Twitch have finally released animated remotes to all Twitch partners and affiliates. They promised this during like mid-2021. They said they'd have it to everyone before the end of the year. And we're now on the 24th, 25th of January, 2022. It's a few weeks late, but if you are an affiliate or a partner on Twitch, you should now start to see. You need to get these added to your stream as soon as possible because it's literally just extra value for your subscribers on your stream and it really doesn't take that long to do these now in this video i'm going to go through five yes count them five different ways to add animated emotes to your twitch stream they're different methods and guess what they're going to range from really really easy in case you've got no time at all and you just want to get it done as quickly as possible through to quite complicated methods whereby you've got a lot more creativity but they're going to take a lot longer the best part is i'm going to be doing it in order of the easiest through to the most difficult so if you're happy with the first one or two things that i show you in the video you don't even need to watch the rest of the video whereas if you've got more time on your hands or you want to be more creative you can watch till the end i'd really appreciate if you can give a like on this video because it genuinely helps me and i'm trying to grow the channel as much as possible also we've had loads of new discord members join lately feel free to click the link below join the discord introduce yourself we've even got a live now role so when you go live on twitch you will get a role that says you're live now and it's almost like a self-promotion within my discord server if you want to subscribe for more content feel free to do so let's go A quick thanks to Owned.TV, who are my partners and are sponsoring this video. Please show Owned.TV some love. You may not know, but on Owned.TV, you can make sub emotes, sub badges. There's an avatar maker. You can even make trailers and gaming logos for your channel, as well as all of the usual stuff that you can get from Owned.TV, like stream overlays and designs. And the best part is, if you use code machine at checkout, then you get 50% off your order. Check out Owned.TV. TV and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so just briefly here is the confirmation from Twitch support that it's been set in motion. Animated emotes are now available for all affiliates and partners. They say don't panic if you can't see them yet. They'll appear soon. Manual approval may take longer than usual for a short while. So they're basically just getting a massive influx of people that are manually having to approve them. If you do have automatic approval on your emotes, you shouldn't have to wait to get them approved. They should just work if you've got auto approval. So you can find the viewer rewards emote slots here in your dashboard you should now see an animated emote section here affiliates will get up to five new animated slots for their emotes i think partners get like 50 or something like that so the first method of getting animated emotes onto your twitch stream is the easiest one of all and it is just go on to fiverr do a search for animated emotes there are loads of really good creators and providers and by paying someone a small fee as little as 10 or 15 dollars you'll be supporting other creators and they will probably do a better job than you would of making those animated emotes however one word of warning if you are going to use fiverr they may be using some of the tools that i show later on in this video so if you're looking to just avoid some of the costs and get something quick and cheap and you can't afford fiverr then maybe just check out some of the other methods that i show in the video now i've mentioned fiverr first because it is technically the easiest you basically just log into fiverr instruct someone to make them tell them a little bit about what you actually want to have created and if you've got existing emotes you can give them access to those files for them to then animate those files for you the second method for getting animated emojis onto your twitch stream is also another quite easy method it's essentially just using content that's already out there but you need to be incredibly careful to make sure that that content isn't copyrighted you do not want to be getting into trouble with any other creators just make sure that you're either crediting people if they allow creation but just make sure that you also are checking that it's not copyrighted material before you upload it as an emote it's incredibly rare that people get told off for copyright against emojis but it can happen these are animated emojis that are already available and they're already sized to the right level so slackmojis.com and i will link this in the description below so let's say we just click on this one here you can right click and save image as you can then save this as a gif image on your desktop and you can upload that gif image onto your twitch the third method of getting animated emotes easily onto your twitch stream is by going onto the easy animate section of the upload screen here so twitch has actually built in a number of different methods to animate existing emotes that you already have so it just makes it really really easy to get going with those animated emotes on this easy animated section here we can upload a new file if we want and we can choose an animation for it we've got shake rave roll spin slide in and slide out they're just a 
few cool straightforward different animations that are available and it will preview it for you here and you can give a new name for that emote also so here it is just an example i've just got one uploaded here and let's choose the rave animation here it takes a few seconds and then we'll see a preview of what the rave animation will look like there you go kind of cool quick and dirty but still not actually the easiest way of doing it and actually you're also still fixed within these different options here it's not that flexible but again it can get you going super quickly so what about if you've got existing emotes that you want to use but you want a more of an array of different animations to use rather than the ones that twitch are offering to you i think there's like seven or so well i've got an answer for you there and we're starting to get a little bit more time consuming a little bit more complicated but at least we've got a lot more flexibility in how we can make these new animated emotes for twitch Twitch. So we're going to be going to a website called makeemoji.com. Again, I will link it in the description below. And this is where you can actually upload any kind of existing emote, but there's a lot more options of the different animations that are available to you. So first of all, shout out to the creator of this tool, M Popov or M Popov. I'm sorry, I probably just butchered your name there but it's a great tool and all we're doing here is we're going to choose a file to upload. Let's say we want to go with this one again. We'll get a preview of it here and then we've got a load of different animation options that will appear underneath it based on this tool here. And any of these that you particularly like, you can simply click on it and it will download the GIF for that. And now when we click on that GIF to open it, you'll see a preview of what that looks like. And there are loads of options here. As you can see, it literally only takes a couple of seconds to actually get these. So it's still pretty damn quick to get these running. Finally, number five, this is how you can have the most flexibility of getting animated emotes on your Twitch stream. This is using a tool like Photoshop to create an animated emote in any kind of style that you want to. You have the full gambit of creative tools to get your 60 frames, 112 by 112 animated emote sorted, created, and ready for Twitch uploading. Now in this video here, I cover it in a lot more detail, so I'm not gonna cover everything just now, but I'll quickly show you the basics. And if that's not enough for you, check out the link in the description below, which will be a link to that tutorial video on how to create animated emotes in Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, you can check the affiliate link below, which will basically support the channel if you buy Adobe Photoshop through that link. So quickly, how do we create these animated emotes in Photoshop? We're gonna go to create new. I'm gonna create a new with 112 by 112 pixels you can customize it here and click create we've then got our canvas that we can work with which is perfectly sized to twitch now we want to go into windows and make sure we're clicking on the timeline here which will create this animation timeline which we'll get into detail in in a minute but now from here we can start creating frame by frame exactly what those animations look like so for argument's sake here let's just add some more frames in using this little plus icon this will just add a load more frames for us we can add pictures to every one of these once you're happy with all of your frames and designs in order in terms of the layers that you've created on photoshop you just need to select all of the layers that you want to apply for the GIF and we go on to create video timeline. Once we've created that, it will create a timeline of those frames. Now you need to be mindful here that you can only use 60 frames. This by default will go to, I think something like, what's that, 25, 50, I, quick maths i don't know way too many so we need to reduce this down to 60 frames which in this case i think is two seconds 30 frames per second by two which is 60 frames then all we need to do is resize each of these layers to be visible at certain points on this timeline and you can adjust how long they stay for in other words how many frames that they stay in visibility for but essentially you will have a frame by frame design of your own gif once we've got this timeline looking in good order you'll be able to save this as a gif and the way that you do this we click on export and we want to save for web legacy now you'll see a load of different options here but the most important option you need to look at is the gif preset here instead of jpeg so you want to make sure it's set to gif now if you want transparency in the image you want to make sure that transparency is checked here now at this point we can simply save it or we can preview it and once you click that it'll do a web preview of that gif image obviously i've not added any content to any of those frames so you can't actually see it here but it does exist quick save on that and then you'll have an animated emote ready to upload to twitch there you have it five different ways to add animated emotes to your stream you really have no excuse not to do this it's so damn easy if you enjoyed this hit the like and if you want to see more detail on that last photoshop tutorial because i realized i kind of rushed through it check out this video over here have a great day take care